Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to use the mirror equation to find the location of an image due to an object placed in front of a concave mirror. We'll do examples for both real images and virtual images. And another way that you can find these images is by using ray diagrams. The result of a ray diagram method is already up there. If you'd like to see an explanation of how the ray diagram method works, you can look at the previous video in this playlist. All right. On this one, we're going to say that we have a spherical mirror with a center of curvature of 7 centimeters. The radius of curvature is 7 centimeters. And the focal length is half of that, which is 3.5 centimeters. We have an object placed 10 centimeters in front of the mirror. I have roughly used a scale of 1 graph paper square equals 1 centimeter to the nearest half a square, anyway. I didn't try to round to any closer than half a square. Uh, but if you want to count graph paper squares to check the numbers, you can do that. So we've got the focal point and the object distance. So what we will do next is we will use the mirror equation. We have uh, 1 over the focal length equals 1 over the image distance plus 1 over the object distance. So let's plug in the numbers that we know. We'll bring the object distance to the other side, subtract it from both sides. That gives us 1 over di, so di is equal to the reciprocal of that number, or about 5.4 fact that that number is positive means that the image is to the left of the mirror in front of the mirror. If you look at what we found using the ray diagram method, that is about where we found the image, this upside down arrow, the bold arrow. It is the center of curvature. The big dot is seven centimeters away, and f, the little dot, is three and a half. 5.4 is somewhere between those two, and you can see that we did get, in fact, somewhere between those two for the image when we used the ray diagram method. Now, let's also use the equations to figure out whether or not the image is real, whether it is upside down, and how big it is, what the magnification is. Image location determines whether or not it is a real or virtual image. If you get an image that is in front of the mirror, it's a real image because the rays really are intersecting there. If you get an image behind the mirror, then it's a virtual image because the rays don't really intersect there, they just appear to. So, you know, an example of a virtual image would be the kind in your flat bathroom mirror. You appear to be behind the mirror, but you know you're not really back there. There's not actually any light that's coming to your eyes from the bathroom mirror behind it. So how do you know whether the image is in front of or behind the mirror from the equations? Well, you do that by the sign. If the image distance is positive, then it is a real image. We got a positive 5.385, about 5.4. So since this is positive, that means we got a real image. And that agrees with our ray diagram. We got a real image in the ray diagram as well. Okay, how about the magnification? Well, to do the magnification, we use the magnification equation. That would be the magnification is equal to minus di over do. And in our case, we have a di of 5.4 and a do of 10. That gives us a magnification of negative 0.54. The negative means that the image is going to be upside down, and you can see that we got that it would be upside down in our ray diagram as well. The 0.54 means it is going to be about half, just slightly larger than half, as big as the original object, and that's roughly correct too. Uh, as I said in the ray diagram video, you have to be extremely, extremely careful with your measurements and lines and, and so forth in the ray diagram method if you're going to get a quantitative answer. Ray diagrams are much better at giving you a rough idea of what kind of image and roughly where it's going to be. You don't use that for precise answers. So 
you know, as long as our math roughly agrees with our ray diagram, we're probably doing okay. If we get something that's completely different, then we've made a mistake somewhere. But this is good so far. The fact that we have a positive image distance tells us that the image is real. The fact that the magnification is negative tells us that it is upside down and the magnification is less than one it means that the image is smaller than the original. In this example, we have the original object inside the focal point, and that means between the focal point and the mirror. So the focal point is three and a half centimeters, but this time the object distance is only two centimeters away from the mirror. You can see that in the ray diagram that I did in the previous video, we found that the image is behind the mirror, meaning that it's virtual, and that it was bigger than the original object. Let's see how to do that using the math. So we use the same mirror equation, 1 over f equals 1 over the image distance plus 1 over the object distance. So we plug in the numbers that we've got. 1 over 3.5 equals 1 over di plus 1 half. Then we subtract 1 half from both sides, and that gives us a negative 0.214, which is 1 over di. Then we take the reciprocal of negative 2.1, get di, and that gives us di is negative 4.6, and the units would be centimeters. Okay, now I have said before that you know ray diagrams are not going to give you a precise answer. There's just going to give you a rough idea. So here, you know, if I'm counting one graph paper square as a centimeter, it looks like the, uh, the image is only about one and a half, maybe not even quite one and a half centimeters away from the mirror or behind the mirror. I'm getting almost five centimeters behind the mirror, but we did get a negative image. The fact that the DI is negative in our math tells us that the image is behind the mirror. It's virtual. That agrees with the ray diagram. The distance is off quite a bit, but we still got it in the correct general location when we did it with the ray diagram. Now, the magnification is the reciprocal of di over do minus di over do, and that would be minus a negative 4.6 divided by 2, which is a positive 2.3. That tells us that the image is going to be upright, right side up. We got a positive magnification right side up agrees with what we got in our ray diagram. This also says that the image should be about twice as big as the object. Well, we didn't get twice as big in the ray diagram, but we did get obviously quite a bit bigger. So there again, qualitatively, our ray diagram is okay. So now you know how to find image location and uprightness and magnification due to an object in front of a concave mirror, whether the image is a real one or a virtual one.